The arrest made in Denver as the city plays host to the MLB All-Star events, police seizing more than a dozen guns and lots of ammunition at a hotel. ABC's Will Carr has more for us this morning. Good morning to you, Will. And good morning, Eva. That hotel is just a block away from Coors Field, where all-star festivities are set to kick off a little bit later today. Authorities say they arrested four suspects, all in their 40s, who had more than a dozen long guns, body armor, and more than a thousand rounds of ammunition on the eighth floor of the Maven Hotel in downtown Denver. They say they get a tip after a housekeeper found a rifle in one of the hotel rooms. And according to our affiliate KMGH, one of the suspects recently got divorced and said, quote, he wanted to go out in a big way. This comes just a, a week after another housekeeper in Chicago reported finding a rifle in a hotel room overlooking the city's lakefront. And after the Las Vegas massacre, hotels have been extra vigilant about keeping an eye out for suspicious activity. Now it is un... In just a few hours, three of the four suspects arrested on gun and drug charges near Coors Field are due in court. Denver police made the arrest Friday night after they got a tip from the public about something suspicious that was happening at the Maven Hotel. The map that you're taking a look at, it shows that the hotel is just a couple of blocks from Coors Field, an area that you can imagine has been packed with people ahead of the All-Star game. Police arrested three men and a woman there Friday night. Now, officers said that they took evidence from two hotels rooms and impounded two cars. They haven't shared other details, though, about what they found or what the forces suspects are, were up to. The three male suspects are under investigation for possession of a weapon by a previous offender. Two of the men and the female suspect are also under investigation for possession of a controlled substance with intent to distribute. Star Weekend, the spotlight on Denver. First, that was terrorism and a massive police investigation in the heart of downtown. Heavily armed, walked right out of the elevator. What police found in a high-end hotel room. It worries you because you never know who's next to you in a hotel room. And what high-placed sources are telling Contact Denver 7 investigates about who revealed the possible threat. Thank you to whoever reported what they saw because they could have circumvented a catastrophe. We begin with breaking news just days before the All-Star Game. Sources are confirming to Denver 7 Investigates that police have thwarted what they think could have turned into a mass shooting. The suspect was staying in a hotel near Coors Field. We're told he was armed to the teeth. Chief Investigator Tony Kovaleski will join us in just a moment with the details you will not hear anywhere else. But we begin tonight with Denver 7's Liz Gillardi at the Maven Hotel with exclusive information of her own on how this arrest went down. Liz. Well, Jacqueline, just days ahead of that all-star game in Denver, police recovered multiple weapons inside that hotel room just a block away from Coors Field. And tonight, multiple sources are telling Denver 7 that police found in that hotel room multiple long guns. They found body armor and hundreds of rounds of ammunition. Four people are in custody and sources worry about the harm they could have caused, especially with large crowds downtown. Witness video shows officers in SWAT gear in the lobby of a downtown Denver hotel. Heavily armed, walked right out of the elevator, and she just thought, what the heck is going on here? Susan Syverson is staying at the Maven Hotel with her family. On Friday night, her daughter saw heavily armed police in the lobby. They were told to stay in their room on the seventh floor. So our balcony faces directly towards Coors Field. There's no building in between. You just the balcony, you can see straight across to Coors Field. Police searched two hotel rooms, including one on the eighth floor. Multiple sources connected with the investigation tell Denver 7 they intercepted multiple weapons. They believe the number of weapons, ammo, vantage point and large crowds could have resulted in a Las Vegas style shooting. The Maven Hotel is located at 19th and Wazee, just a block away from Coors Field. So thank you to whoever reported what they saw because they could have circumvented a catastrophe. On Saturday, we saw a heavy police presence at the hotel. Chief Paul Pazin stopped by and investigators wheeled out evidence. I do wonder what happened. I would like to know what happened. I'm glad no one was hurt. 
tonight. We would all like to more, know more information about what happened. We're working to get more information tonight, including additional details about these suspects. Three men, one woman arrested uh, but yesterday, and we're working to find out how um, or if they are connected in any way. And again, uh, two rooms were searched. Evidence was recovered, including those long guns, and two cars were impounded. Reporting live tonight, I'm Liz Gillardi. All right, thank you so much, Liz. And police have arrested, as she said, three men, one woman on weapons and drug charges. You can see those here. Now, based on these charges, all the men appear to be previous offenders. 42-year-old Richard Platt, 44-year-old Gabrielle Rodriguez, 44-year-old Ricardo Rodriguez, and 43-year-old Kanilahua Sirikawa. Chief investigative reporter Tony Kovaleski is joining us now with his exclusive details. And Tony, what did police find in that hotel room and how? Well, Jacqueline, our source is telling us tonight all the credit going to an observant, vigilant maid inside the Maven Hotel. She entered the room yesterday. She observed the 16 long guns, a lot of body armor in what turned out to be more than a thousand rounds of ammunition. She contacted her management. They contacted police. Our sources saying quickly that Denver police were able to get a search warrant. They entered the room. When they entered that room, they found the man they arrested and have charged on the situation. Also, they found all that, all the guns, all the ammunition and the body armor. So we talked just a few minutes ago with a couple eyewitnesses asking them specifically what they saw and what they would say to that maid. It looked like National Guard um, members like ran through the lobby, went down into the garage, we presume, um, and then like brought out white male um, in handcuffs. We got back probably three hours later, definitely was worse it seemed there was actually like a whole group of policemen out front crime scene unit um, we tried to get some details from the hotel manager out front um, they didn't really share much at that point our sources are saying a maid saw the guns provided the information that allowed police to maybe prevent something significant from happening what do you say to that maid right now? Like a hero. I, mean, I think of things like the Vegas shooting, like that's where my mind went actually when we when I read the article last night. So I think she's responsible for preventing a lot of a lot of lives. And law enforcement sources we've talked to say yes, they were concerned this potentially could have been like a Las Vegas shooting. The room was on the eighth floor. He had a balcony. That balcony overlooked the main entrance to Coors Field. So a significant development here also on the issue of motive. Our sources telling us that police are looking at a Facebook post from the individual they arrested in that room. That post apparently said he was recently divorced and wanted to go out in a big way.